Hello everyone, and welcome to another exciting edition of Box Breaks with Bruce. In case you haven't guessed, I am Bruce and your host of this wonderful box breaking show here at Heroes of the Crease, Goaltending Museum and Memorabilia Limited. Now today, we're opening up a box of 2020-21 Upper Deck Allure Hockey. There's lots of shine, lots of die cut goodies, and potentially decent hits can come out of it. There's also, of course, potentially bad ones, but so is the nature of opening literally any product. It is a gamble. Last year's Allure was a decent product, though quite heavy with parallels, which, depending on your take on it as a collector, can be hit or miss. Uh, we opened up a box of it, I believe around Christmas, if I'm not mistaken, last year, and we pulled a Leon Dreisaitl autograph from one box, so that was quite a nice hit. Who knows what'll come out of this one? Might be good, might be okay, might be bad. That's not for me to judge. That's for the Urbe bobblehead of judgment staring you down on the camera right now. Before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. The more people who give the thumbs up, the more people who comment, the more people who like and subscribe and all that good stuff, the more people come to the videos, the more people come to the videos, the more excited I am to make more videos, and it just keeps growing and growing like a like a, an epic snowball. <laughs> Alright, without further ado, my friends, let's get ready for box breaking. Alright, 2020-21 Upper Deck Allure Hockey. Yeah. All right. Only eight packs per box, so it's not uh, going to be a long one either, which is good because I, I honestly don't enjoy doing uh, box breaks with like 36 packs. Cause it's just so much. All right, so here we are. Eight packs. Let's see what the hockey gods have in store for us today. All right, Ugh, much tougher to open than I expected, okay. So we have an allure base of Sid the Kid Crosby, Dustin Brown, Nicholas Bodin. There's a, little, there's a few shiny ones, okay. We'll take it all the way back here. A rookie of Ty Dellandrea. Carter Hart, Nicholas Bowden again, and we have Philip Kurashev, Black Rainbow Rookie. Then we have City Selly of Yevgeny Kuznetsov, and a rookie, oh, there we go, a rookie, blue, which I believe is like the short printed versions of them, of Alexi Lafreniere. Not bad for a first pack. We got the number one overall pick for the last year there, so pretty decent. Of course, the Urbe Bobblehead of Judgment doesn't care about just the regular hits. He only nods in approval or not of uh, numbered hits, game-used hits, or autographed hits. But we're off to a decent start. We got Alexi Lafreniere. Okay. Of course, they're nice, shiny cards. All right, we've got some die-cutty goodness. We'll kind of move everything to the back here. Perfect. Got Bo Horvat. Base. Shiny cards. Make it a little tough. I have to kind of hide so my face isn't in it. Uh, Peyton Krebs, a rookie. Brady Kachuk. Evgeny Malkin. Carey Price. Let's see. We'll go next. Matisse Kivlenix. Rest in peace to a young, young hero. Elvis Merzelkin said he'll try and win a Vesna trophy for him this coming year, so I'm excited to see how he will perform. Okay, then after that is Alexander Alexeyev, Grand Entrance, numbered, oh, this one's a numbered version, 73 of 99. Didn't know there was a numbered version of this, okay? And we have Patrick Kane, Orange Slice. Fortunately, they actually correctly cut it. I've seen a few uh, box break videos where some of the die cut, cut parts were still hanging on it. So, all right, Patrick Kane, not too bad. Um, Urbe's take on Alexander Alexeya. Of course, uh, it's a very nice card, nice and shiny, but we can do so much better, I feel. We can also do worse. Let's be real as well. <laughs> okay. We have Nick Foligno, Ange Kopitar, Martin Jones, Timothy Lillergan, 
Mark Stone, we have Black Rainbow Allure of Mark Shifley. Nice card. Then we have Grand Entrance of Calvin Turkoff and Pavel Franzul. Allure. Rookie Blue, which is that short print version, even though all the blues also have non-blue versions. Yes. Parallel Heaven. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got. We have a rookie of Mikey Anderson. Quinn Hughes. Leon Dreisaitl. Mark Giordano. We have a regular rookie of Alexi Lafreniere. That's two in a box now. I don't mind that. Then we have a, a red rainbow of Matthew Kachuk. Then we have Iced Out of Anthony Manta and Liam Foodie, Blue Rookie. All right. Okay. We've got two Lafreniers. That's pretty good. We've got a memorabilia. We'll save that to the end. Why not? Keep a little bit of suspense. Okie dokie. All right. We have Jack Eichel, James Van Riemsdyk, Martin Kalt, rookie, <laughs> Alexander Barkov, Brendan Gallagher. We have Alexander True, who I believe this is also a red rainbow. Yes. Then we have Jason Robertson, Grand Entrance, and Mart no, sorry, Maxim Latunov, Blue Rookie. Okie dokie. All right, and we continue. Let's move this guy here, perfect. Okay, we have Jake Evans, Jordan Binnington, Dylan Larkin, Andre Vasilevsky. Sorry, Alex Belisle or Bill Zile. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Gabe Velarde rookie. We've got possibly an autograph behind this, so we'll jump ahead. Got the Alex Belisle or Bill Zile uh, blue version. And behind this, we have rookie, I don't know, grand entrance autograph of Brandon Hagel. Nice card. Shiny card. And the autograph, though. Ah. Ah, that's all I can say about that. Urbase Verdict. Definitely a lot better to get. Um, it's a nice card. <laughs> Visually aesthetic, but not the greatest auto for sure. All right. Next up. Okay. Austin Matthews, base. Morgan Geeky, rookie. Anthony Manta. Steven Stamkos. Anders Lee. We have Diagnostics of Roman Yossi. We have Grand Entrance, Red Rainbow of Connor McMichael. I guess. <laughs> I don't know if there's parallels or not of this. Uh, yeah, this has got to be. Pretty sure this is a parallel version of it. And then Keegan Colasar, Blue Rookie. And our final pack with the memorabilia. Um, Typically, the memorabilia, if, if they aren't memorabilia autos, kind of sucks. <laughs> All right. I'm not expecting much now. All right. We have Igor Korshkov, blue rookie. Alexander Alexeyev, rookie. John Tavares. Tomasz Hertel. Mitch Marner, um, black rainbow. Yes, black rainbow and memorabilia of... Jason Robertson, red rainbow jersey, shiny, nice, but what does the Urbe bobblehead of judgment think? Hell not. <laughs> Goodness no. Um, yeah, I'm not hating against Jason Robertson, but it's a non-numbered regular jersey card that will probably be likely valued around one dollar into my dollar bin at the uh, at shows. So. There you have it. Urbe's verdict on our box of 2020-21 Upper Deck Allure Hockey. Nah, um, the numbered cards, the numbered card rather, wasn't particularly inspiring. The jersey card was bad. The autograph was meh. The two Lafreniers were nice, but they weren't numbered or particularly rare parallels, so they're not uh, gonna carry the price of the box here. 
It's a nice shiny product, however, this time around, I don't feel it was a great success. Anyways, I still had a lot of fun opening those packs, and I hope you enjoyed tuning in and watching this episode of Box Breaks with Bruce. Until next time, my friends, have yourselves an excellent day. Bye-bye.